Honorable Kennedy wa hine Japon. In recent video a wane eye KSM. O ye ye ewa ne fidi yinu suwono. Papa no asa anso akan. E hawa wakum. E ni nkofuwa uhu nisi wediwa muhu e yaw. Tu ni politika karia no tero person kwa ye president no. Wasi nkofubu wa wabuwa mwa na wa expect say. Those people can come into his aid. Time wanu hiya omu mwa no. O man fa mwa namba. O yini pa. O beti manya say feeling no. Iti na man fo ye so wade na yeni yade na yeni ya no. Mimi tiye isi ma ye papa mwa. Na mi expect say mi hiya bibi ya. Onsu bibi ya mami nda return. Na wa anya mami ya beye me ya. Sana papa no su fili e wa side. Inti oye interview si bia na udi sa anko mwono e wumu se. Enko fuwa na oye expecte se omu beti mi abuwa na mwono leti me ne presidential ambition leti ma basu wano mwono leti ma ambu wano. Udi omu hon e ya wano winti mi mfanti omu so da waka wye ni po wano so side of the story wano so kama. Inti wako keye se me fi diyesu kwa ye interview. Enra en omu streaming in life. Me bo video na mwono ti wake kan se mi bire e wumu. Adu kwenti wa peso baye presidenti wakani ni nanada. Nini suwadie hunu wa Kanada. Eni adi kwa poti ye penti ya. Watai eni eye mpe infona. Anase MP snibi e kunto kwa no. Fosu utimuse ubu ha before baye eye MP ukrobi suwa no. Baye MP ukrobi suwa no. Ono ono abu kene do heja pon e buwa no. Sedi enko fo e buwa na anase enko fo buwa ono suwa. Utimi edi mwano momo in return no. Ano ono suwa expect say. Sa enko fo no suwa hiyan omo mo omo subi timi edi ya mani back. Inti true eye ni politika kari ya no wako standi as a president na we Eni ya, eni ya, eni ya, eni ya, eni ya, eni ya, pa. Yen kwa ti yon komo ni KSM, edi ye. Ube ti mi do komenta ba, uye ni pa. Masa, de pape ke, uwo jino huse. Kwe bak, kwe bak. Arabo, the first question, you know, before, before the primaries, one guy was on the show, and I told him to give me a prediction, who is winning, you know. And the guy told me, KSM, let me say this. If it was the whole party voting, Kennedy will win hands down. But because it's the delegates, Baumia will win. That's what he told me. You know, so uh, of course we know the results. But I also remember somebody saying before the voting that, oh, Kennedy, when you're 10% crowd, and you go close to 40, did the results shock you? Well, it did shock me because uh, I was expecting to get more than one. Oh, you <laughs> yes. But there were some mishaps somewhere along the line during the D-Day. Mm. That is why we got that percentage. If not, it would have gone up. Really? So you were expecting more? Oh, yeah, of course. I talked to somebody who said that, she said she's very, very sure that you are very, very happy because even you didn't expect that many people. No, I, I disagree with that statement because I've been in politics for so many years, and I knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So getting 37.4 percent that people are congratulating me, I don't simply get it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a good performance. Oh, you didn't like the performance? No, mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I was going to do better than that, or I should have done better than that. Mm -hmm. So I don't compensate myself with 37.5, no. This is too small. Yeah, it's too small. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> well, be that as it may, you know, people still talk to you, you that you made a very, very good showing. Okay. Mm. This is just out of the way, you know, no, I'm just curious. I understand. Yeah. But let's say, but when I advise you to be vice. No, that. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it? No. no I just want to allow him to do whatever he wants to do. Mm. And I don't want to be vice. What am I going to say? I have nothing to say. So I just, I believe in democracy, so I want it to work. Mm. I stay back and watch. Mm. Whatever contribution we have to give, we will contribute. But I would not accept vice as if at all costs Kenya Japan has to be among the leaders. Mm, no. Mm, mm, mm. One thing I've always said is that you don't need to be president alone to effect change in people's lives. Mm. There are so many ways you can effect change in people's lives. Uh, I have businesses that have employed many Guineans mm -hmm. and I put food on their table they are able to take care of their family. I think it's self-gratifying 
to see people working for me and taking care of themselves. So even the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone. So it's not only politics that can allow or make individuals make mm -hmm. a difference in mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. So me, I accept the results graciously, but I want to stay back, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and see how events unfold. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a vice president. Okay. It doesn't mean I'm against him. I'm not against him. But you know, to tell you the truth, why I cannot be a vice president is that I will speak my mind. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to be made. <laughs> <laughs> and in Ghana here, if you speak your mind, they will succeed branding you as the bad vice president. So I stay quietly. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I have certain principles that I will not compromise. compromise. And that will seem like I'm being rude to mm -hmm. the president. Because mm -hmm. I believe in Ghana. Anything that will go wrong, you must say. If I'm the vice president, I will say. And that they would think you are undermining him. So I just avoid everything, stay mm. back mm. and watch. Mm. Whatever contribution we can also give mm. as party members, mm. I will do my best. What if, what if he says, no, 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 uh, Kennedy, you come on and be my vice, speak your mind. I, 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 don't come as a me too, come as a co driver. What if that offer is made? You know, I have political experience, and especially what happened during the primaries. Mm. I don't trust anybody. Mm. I don't trust anybody. So whatever offer you give me, I'm sorry. You don't trust the offer? No. Mm. I don't trust anybody. Because mm. mm. you help them, help them, help them. When they get to the position, they dump you. I will not allow myself to be used by anybody again. And I need respect. This year, I'll be 64 years. So I will not allow anybody to treat me like I'm a trash. That one, I'm sorry. So let them do their own thing. And we stay back. We are all party members. We are going to campaign for some people. So. I don't, look, my brother, if you know what business can bring to you, you will not be fighting to be vice president or president or minister mm. or mm. what. You know, I contested this election because I wanted to make a difference in society. In the sense that I've been in parliament, this is the 24th year. I've been in politics before that, and I have seen the problems we are facing as a nation. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to address those issues. So I thought, look, staying back and criticizing will not be enough if you are the driver himself. You can share your vision and you can implement it and set him back and talking, talking, mm. talking. That is why I decided to come in. But if that's not what Ghanaians want, I believe in democracy. And mm. therefore, mm. some are saying go independent. This, no, I'm not going to go independent. Because going into that contest, I knew and I sat myself that. It's 50-50. Mm -hmm. You can win, you can lose. Mm -hmm. So if you lose, why would you say that I'm going independent? No. I would not do that mm -hmm. to my party. Just that I've learned some lessons that I'm sorry to tell you the truth. I don't trust anybody. You can be anybody. Mm -hmm. If my will, I don't want to do it. You, you can't do. convince me. Mm -hmm. With the experience I got from this election, no way. So is this generally you don't trust people or you don't trust politicians or just generally you have, you have no trust for anyone at all, period? I would say politicians. Mm. Because you can help somebody 
to get a position. And when he gets the position, he forgets how he started. Mm. And to protect his position, he goes against you. Mm. And that is what I learned from it. You see, some people say, oh, he's bitter. I'm not bitter. I have a lot of money to spend for myself. It's not every MP who didn't vote for me that I'm angry at. No. Everybody has a choice. But the very people who were my friends mm. that I have helped to bring them to parliament is not a betrayer. But the things, the bad things they said about me, that is where I have a problem. So who says I'm not bitter? I'm bitter. Mm. I'm bitter not because Vice President won. I'm bitter because the people that I have helped if you are not going to vote for me, no problem. But the insults, I can't forgive them. Well, well. Now, th 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 these very people, were they people who had assured you privately no, that no. they are going to vote for you? Or no, they no, didn't? No. 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 I didn't need any assurance. Like I said, you know, if you support Dr. Baumia, it's your choice. I don't mm -hmm. have a problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you don't insult me. Again, anybody that I have not helped and through his own efforts, he came to parliament. If he even insults me, I don't have a problem. Mm, but but I have a problem with people that I helped. Some of them became ministers. Mm, mm. Some of them became MPs. Through your efforts? Yes. And they were the people who were making derogatory statements about me. That is very difficult to forgive. Hmm. And knowing why, why is it that if it's easy to forgive everybody who supported Allah, they are sidelined them. And when it comes to me, you say forgive. You don't know, pretend that they, I will not pretend. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. I will not pretend. I will let you know that I didn't appreciate what you did. And my last question was going to be, knowing that you don't like pretending, these people that you said you expected better from them, but not only did they betray you, but they actually said derogatory things about you. Exactly. Have you confronted them and told them? Uh, if you make a mistake and approach me, I'll mm. give it to you as well. Mm. <laughs> yeah. mm. You see, people say, oh, the guy is rude, this guy. You see, such people, the mere fact that they get the courage to come to you means at the back of your mind you are stupid. Mm. You're stupid. And I'll prove to you that I'm not. I'm not. They can say whatever they want to say. It's me. At the end of the day, it's Kane Japan. If I die today, mm. they will replace me. So I'll tell you my peace of mind so that you stay where you are. Mm. That's it. Mm. And I'm not peeved because uh, I learned my lesson from 2008. When I put my resources, my soul, and will, money, everything to support President Ekufuad. When he lost, I got heart problem. So my doctors, they canceled me. They didn't know I was a politician until they saw my heart beat and all those things. So I learned my lesson from that time that I will campaign, I will do everything, but I will not religiously get involved and say that is do die mm. and therefore if i don't win or mr b doesn't win i should get heart problems that has cushioned me look who says i'm bitter when the results were coming and i saw that the vice president has won mm. i told my team i'm going home anybody who wants to drink champagne come mm. we are drinking champagne and I gladly decided to go and congratulate the vice president. But I'll be honest with you, when I got there on the stage, the people that have insulted me, mm. I got so annoyed. That day was the first time I took my wife to public gathering like that. She saved me. I would have misbehaved. Mm. I will tell you the truth. Misbehavior means you would have physically attacked them? No. No, when I took the mic 
the okay. things I was going to say. Okay. okay. I just controlled myself. Mm. And again, it is not them alone. I was speaking to the party and the nation. Mm. So that I had to have control to myself. Mm. And, you know. But I was going there because I knew I've lost. Let me tell you the truth. Here, this building, we have 42 offices. My intention was that, oh, we do civil campaign. If I lose, I'll give it to the winner to use it as a campaign office. Mm. All my campaign, you've seen some of them sitting there. I'll give it to the winner to support. But the way they verify me, I've stayed quiet. I mean, I allow them to do whatever they are doing. Mm. These pickups, I'm not going to use it for anybody. But I won't give it to anybody. You will keep them here? Yeah, I'll keep them here. What is the center delegation? A delegation. Officially. A delegation. Yeah. Let me tell you. One MP in Western Region said to A plus that do as for Kenya Japan, he can win the general election, but we will not give it to him. And after that, then he asked, Do you think you can do away with Kenya Japan? He said, Oh, after that, we'll go and beg him. Mm. He went to South Africa and repeated the same thing. Repeated the same thing. So, delegation from where? The delegation, they didn't see what they were saying or they didn't hear what they were saying. I don't think any delegation can come to me. It's my choice. And you see, let me tell you, I like vice president. I can easily communicate with him, but the people around him, mm. the things they said will be difficult. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to campaign. I'm going to campaign for some people. And I use my own money to campaign. I don't take party money. Or no presidential candidate has ever given me money to go and campaign for him. So I'll use my own money and campaign for certain uh, candidates. Mm. So I don't have a problem. So I'm still a party man. I'll do it. Now, once you're during the interview, you know, a dube be a yago on heat. Then he start nani buye fu banana anger reactions no eh ya ba o ni pa sometimes you know o kai bi bi a wayama o bi na se ni pa no intimi anfa anshi na name one na se ni pa ni yini boni ya then he start to go anger on us or thirty to two to move up a park and so and then call for us we will use secrets the government the secrets no reason the government thing but o kasa na so when you hit you know and na so when you feel you say ni pa bi a o su su senge o sun ko muti mi esona sene and na so muti mi pushi no esan so kuti ana na amane bufu no. Hey, Papa, you a heavy video to us. I can tell that you you are you've been hurt. You know, I'm not saying you you are peeved, maybe, but you have been hurt. You, it seems like the betrayal really did affect you. Is that the story? It has not affected me in any way. Okay. No, just that when I see them, then I cast my mind back. Some of them, I just handpicked them like this. Mm and their ministers. But no problem, they want to protect their positions. Mm. Because some of them, I understand them from the appointment that they made. And he was just teasing them that, well, you betray your good friend to get a minister, so no problem. Mm. Some of them, they were ministers and they are still ministers. He goes, to tell you the truth, maybe if they had not taking a position like that. They would have relieved them from their positions. Mm. And most of them, they are not like me, a businessman. Me, I can change this water. The design and the value will be more than what it is today. Some of them, the men is there. They don't even, they don't have, with all due respect to them, they don't have the creative mind to turn things around. So maybe if they are not ministers, they will not survive. So me, mm. I'm okay. With, I've never taken any position. President Kufo's time, he called me and asked me to go to Minister of Interior as Deputy Minister of Interior. I said no to him, but I made one request that it was my boss who brought me into MPP party, politics and all. Because my family, 
There's no politician in there. My, my boss, he recently died. You know, we have not even done the phone railway. So, Mr. President, I thank you very much. But I want you to give this deputy ministerial appointment to my boss. My boss. Said, oh, your boss, this position is too small. I said, but, okay, go and discuss with him if he will take it. So I went to my boss. He's called lawyer Kojua from a seed. So I went to him as a boss. Lawyer, I called him lawyer. This is what President Kofu has offered me, but I don't want to be a minister. I mentioned your name. He said, we are too big for deputy yes. ministerial appointment. I said, oh, no, he will serve. So I quickly went to President Kofu yes. and told him that, oh, he has accepted. That's how come Lawyer Siedu first became deputy minister of interior. Then he moved him to deputy minister of foreign affairs. And the last part of President Kofu's administration, he was the regional minister for Eastern region. Lawyer Kojua from Mesid. So, all I'm trying to say is, I'm not somebody who is always fighting to be the helm of affairs. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm capable of doing. And my joy is business. To see, wake up in the morning, go to my work premises, and see the number of people that are working. And I say to myself, wow. A poor soul, can a Japan from Asedompim, who was hawking on the street, now has this number of workers. I become so happy. Mm. So it's not only politics. Mm. But sometimes, politics matters because if you make a mistake and be complacent that, oh, my business is doing well, and therefore I don't care who becomes the president, then you are making a because. Because... A president can make one policy mm -hmm. and it will affect, affect your, business. your business and collapse your business. So it is always important to make sure that we have right leaders in this country. And my brother, I'm telling you, what Ghana needs as a leader is a pragmatic leader and not theorist. And I see myself as a pragmatic leader what I would have done to this country. People are saying inflation, depreciation of the city, simple. Less, um, this man made a fantastic statement and it became his name, domestication. You see, we are too bookish. We didn't get what uh, Mr. Danlati, we didn't mm. get what he was trying to mm. say. Mm. But let me break it down to you. During my campaign, I was talking about maize, sugar cane, cassava, that we can use for ethanol. My brother, there's a company in this country that imports 20 million liters of ethanol, 2 million tons of ethanol. On the world market today, Ethanol, one ton, is $962. Multiplied by 2 million tons, mm. you get about $1.852 billion. How much do we get from cocoa? How much do we get from cocoa? And the process of getting this ethanol, all the byproducts, you can use some of them for poultry feeds. We can generate electricity out of it. I still maintain that. Let them go everywhere and check if what I'm saying is not the truth. Besides using this ethanol for alcohol, beverages, and everything, we can use the ethanol to mix. Today, they have increased prices of fuel. Okay? Meanwhile, if we domesticate and say that we're going to have import substitution industries or companies, meaning we'll build ethanol factory, then we stop importation of ethanol. If you do 300,000 liters a day for 300 days in a year, you need 42,000 acres 
of maize farm. Now, if you do the calculation, the 300,000 liters is nowhere near what that company in this Ghana imports. Mm. So you need about 700,000 liters a day. Before 300 days, you can get 21 million. Now, brother, as a nation, very simple for us to do. What's the use of the common fund in this country? We could have used the common fund to have every assembly should have 1,000 acres of maize farm. We have 275 constituencies. Every constituency, 1,000 acres. You have 275,000 acres. If you strike it by 300,000 liters, which a day that you need 42,000. My brother. You can have about six of 300,000 liters a day ethanol factory. And six by 300 is 1.8. You know. So 18 million or whatever. Uh, you, know, you can now say that we are not going to import ethanol into this country. We are self-sufficient. We can use sugar cane. The largest producer of ethanol is America. They use maize. Second is Brazil. They use sugar cane. There's, they mix it with the fuel price, the fuel. So the prices of fuel in Brazil is lower than oil. India is doing the same thing. You see, God has given everybody a gift. But how we handle it? The Arabs, because of the desert, they are getting all these oils. We, without the desert, have arable lands, forests, everything, that we can also do it, match the oil. Mm -hmm. But what are we doing? What are we doing? Cassava. We use cassava, starch, all pharmaceutical industries paper industries, poultry. My brother, do you know what we can do in this country? Mm -hmm. Recently, a reputable man came to me. He said, Cotton Development Authority. He was talking to me. I just picked the phone and called my partners. When I called them on Thursday, they were there when I called. Friday, the report that they brought to me. I didn't even know about Tumu or the cotton that they have over there. So I called the guys to come. I handed over the paper. I said, oh, I thank you. You know what? We're looking for money just for feasibility studies. We don't have it. But bam, my connection. I got it for that. I said, take it. Go and study it. Come back to me. I was talking to the speaker yesterday, and he confirmed that Cotton, when he was in school, he was doing vacation employment at the Cotton Farms. Mm. ABA Fusini also confirmed that he was doing uh, a vacation employment at the Cotton Farms. What has happened to us? And in the report, the guy said, Burkina is doing very well in cotton production. Benin, now the president has taken charge himself, cotton production. Then he said, it means Ghana, you are not doing something right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To the Cotton Development Authority, I wasn't aware. They made me aware that they have over one million hectares, not acres, of farms suitable for cotton. And the last point they made was that we have a buyer to take off taker agreement we can sign with you a company in india will buy all these my brother if you put look soya beans coconut banana last two weeks i was in london i went to waitrose and i bought banana and a, it was produce of Ghana. 
I say, gee, then why don't we promote banana, growing banana here, if the market is there? Yeah, I saw it. Then I saw a package about this height. Coconut juice from Sri Lanka, 2.75p at a pharmacy shop called Boots. Also. Look, there are so many things we can do in this country. Mm -hmm. And no, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not to cut you off. Um, so are you sort of like reflecting on how the extent to which we are not able to utilize exactly. resources that can would have exactly we are so dependent on foreigners yeah. for our survival. Yeah. It's a shame. Yeah. And 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 on this note, because the first time I heard you talk about running for president, well, I don't know how long you've had that goal to run for president, but the first time I saw you on TV and you said you were so frustrated and talked about I have to be run for presidency was when uh, the NPP decided to go to IMF. That's when the first time I heard you, in your reaction to that, you said, no, things have got to change and I'm going to be president. In other words, was this a part of the agenda that you're having that we should be so independent that places like IMF and all the other should all be cut off? Yes. You see, I didn't have intention of running or to become a president, although I agree that every politician aspires to the climax. But I later decided to contest because I realized, look, if there will be change and there will be youth employment, if we can improve on it, create job opportunities for the youth, let me borrow the word domestication, than Latin domestication then the champo that's the way to go yesterday i was talking to honorable ajima menu and he said he has a lot of rice puppies he can't get a buyer i just speak a phone meanwhile i have a friend called jirasua who has built a nice rice mill and he doesn't have puppies so I just called and connected them and said, speak to him and go and say, rice and sugar, we import over $1.4 billion in this country. And you see, I'm mentioning all these because if you want to stabilize our currency, this is the way we have to go. Because importing $1.4 billion puts a stress on our currency. And the dollar becomes more expensive because the demand is higher than the supply. And therefore, when demand is higher than supply, people tend to offer higher prices to get it. Then the moment the dollar goes up, our CD depreciates, meaning you need more CDs to go and buy. So if we are able to stop importation of ethanol, Minimum $3 billion will be saved. Not saved, but we protect it. There will be no rush. And therefore, we can stabilize it. If we do say to sugar cane and, and sugar and rice, $1.4 billion, there will be no rush. That takes you to about $4.4 billion. Soya beans. Yam. I have a technology. Whereby President Kufo's time, Kwashigan, when he was a minister, my partner and myself we went to Holland with yam for experiment. We can store yam for eight months in this country. What do we do? All you need is a warehouse and just small machines even to process it into yam chips. You go to all these fast foods and they are promoting potatoes potato chips with the import. I think uh, going to vice president region, I also saw that they produce a lot of potatoes. All we need is to have warehouses 
that we can store it for eight months and have yam chips we can export. Nigeria, they have yam powder. Every African market you go, you see yam powder there. Now, brother, what are we doing? It is not English. I look at them and, and they are speaking English. All this English, their pocket is empty. <laughs> Your pocket, you are speaking big, big, big English. Your pocket is empty because you are a theorist. You are not a pragmatic person. The things are there clearly that this is the way to go. My brother, when I visited Volta region, I said to myself, wow, Rollins has done a disservice to his own people. With this land, what he could have done, the industries we could have created in Volta region. I went to the north, saw these vast lands, and the people are poor. How? What is wrong with us as human beings? So I said to myself, look, what South Africans have done, we Ghanaians can do it too. What any country, India, with all the, now the, the biggest population, the largest, they have about 1.5 billion, they're beating China. And still, they are able to produce right, rice and export it to Ghana. How? Why can't we do it? So, all I'm saying is, when you, now we talk of cocoa, 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 it's a shame that even the local industries that are producing cocoa import cocoa. Mm. We should be able to talk about it. And we will be able, we will be able to talk about it. It's getting very exciting, folks. And unfortunately, time has caught up with us. But with your kind permission, Honorable, we have to do one more episode so that next week we can explain to the people the trajectory you have started on. Incidentally, next week will be considered a, a, our Independence Day episode. So I think, show some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> it will be very, very, very appropriate to have our Independence Day episode on what happened to Ghana and what are we doing as a nation? Folks, stick around. This conversation is continuing next week. So in the meantime, in between time, until we come back next week, our Independence Day version to talk about what went wrong. Put your hands together, show some love one more time for Honorable Kennedy Jafar. And until next week, we are out of, let the whole world say, yeah. And some of Pano Ekai edit two ja any. Minim so what ye a yen some wing in a minimum wagentre. For me, dear Mimi, I think say he's a human being, ain't you know? So why in the bonnie, of course, obiti me a cassini boom for nothing in the boom free, of course. I didn't know cassini boom free. Basse or basse, a nipa, a wohono, a only sad and a honorable boofu, and a honorable eja, and a honorable eja, or any pa. We be two now, I saw it me expressing the feelings, and you can't swallow the shake. What kind of cronature was so jaw or jaw? A case close. It's a mamma yan yan is a unfine shinny moon at the side of the anchor for me, Brina and Yachum. What time one man who's what time who draw man who's who jow. Now I saw a door, little bones were mafia, and only a yet life, papa. Would Jenny Pana, many penny who's so jan. A case close. Say we are missing me, John, no more, say me jow, men were cast to the street. But me yan is a me door, me door, me door, nothing may stop you in the back here and move me dangerous. It may I think, say what on a book and a little hinge upon a can, a tossum, would jow, would jow. A case close. Me imagine Jenny. Minimum wa nyo bitimi do comment so aba wo beso be kan eye eko na ba membership no ho e wo youtuber wo bitimi aka eye membership me de link no e be to eye video na se wo bitimi mi aso be kan membership no ho se de be am post video wo bitimi nya bia bi didi eko na ba share ne like ne comment na mi shira pa hello we busi afo so wo pesi features right show do for there and there na fa ho kodom unique laser whitening unique laser whitening e wo two pieces from kwa se wo di twetwe wo se a e ma wo se ne eye fitter Na eye fitan no so no. Na e ji en kaboni biye wo no mobiya. Any tea stains, coffee stains, smoking stains si biye wo wo no mobiya. Unique laser whitening product. Ebe yini yine free swama wa kama kama. Diye wo yane se. Ube tu so. Na u diye gu u brush no so. U wia na u diye chuchu u sinu su nyi na kama. U wia. En wuru wo no mo jen wo no mo sa. Inti contact unique laser whitening. E wo 079. 9979 Unique laser whitening or say 
muni ses. Mpeni fosi bibi wa wia senti ni eda ni atupunum na ne papa ni fonti. E wose umo bamba unhiyo na ne papa mudi. Pro Technologies ana meka mfama wao. Ane Pro Technologies. We are specialized in both sales and installation of CCTV cameras. Yeto esa install CCTV cameras. In the saw gun and nasa brochure na ufi organ na upesu ya CCTV camera installation. We need Pro Technologies and nasa wasu. We need CCTV camera installation, electric fence, automated gates, access control, video door bell and our intercom and our satellite tv home theater so we pay biato and our water and our person install them pro technologies and our self fry and our shining so so you feel you know from america but you may be sent papa now padia man you know none of us to death form make sure you know the web which memo and your branch and we're gonna you need more bravo bring into sika fire and some safe and you get padia more gonna or die Na niye tene se, yesa ya general construction. So we brochure, na wapesa usi fi organa. E da yu plan ibiya wapesa usi. Se wa sha sudada, anafe na wapesa usi. Plan ibiya, yibisi ya mao. Enwe chiso hiya solar power. Anabamba huwa nsense mdi adye. Wani ye ninsa wa suwa. Ni esansu ya smart home. Apefu mfidi ya biya wapesa shishe. Ewa ufie, anawa chuma mwade mawo. Wani ye ninsa wa suwa. We are just a call away. Ni esansu wa adena adema hain. Anafe brochure bedu gana. Na upe full house, room, ana apartment ha hain. For short term and a long term, you be more beyond the border form. Now, Bamba won't send you. Man, you know, and now you're interior decoration. So, as if you're in a re, and now you're still feeling a mound, you sign decoration. You best say, you'll be an hour officer at the amount. And register what don't you be? No, who could have first install it? And now the settings, you bear at the amount. Oh, Ghana, Uber, who you are, when real friend enter, and you are the actual do doa, Uber, who you are, and you are the actual do doa, Uber, who you are, and you are the actual do doa, for information or what's up, 401-757-0308. Zero and a plus four zero one six nine nine two two five four. Pro Technologies. We have the solutions for your security and home entertainment needs at affordable prices.